Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. It's time. We now have the Montana Knife Company War Goat. This thing is built for when everything else fails. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. All right, hey, what's going on guys? So back at it again, just to show that there is no bias, no pep in my step when it comes around here. I just used a Benchmade cigar cutter to just cut my stick whilst talking about the Montana Knife Company War Goat. So we just know that unbiased review and I've had this thing kind of under embargo before this drop. This thing drops later on today. If you're a channel member, this drops tomorrow. Think about becoming a channel member. They get to see these reviews and content a little bit before everybody else, and they can kind of make a decision on whether or not they want something before everything else goes down. The Montana Knife Company War Goat. This is an interesting addition to the Montana Knife Company for like family of knives that they've been pumping out lately. And I am, I've been thoroughly impressed with Montana Knife Company ever since they sent me my first knives. They sent the Speed Goat, they sent the Blackfoot, two, both the 2.0 versions of those. Now they're hitting it out the park again with another one. Let's just do some bottom line up front. If you are a desk warrior, I'm sitting at my desk right now doing a little bit of editing, just kind of chilling out, doing what I got to do for my daily tasks. And you mostly just open up cardboard stuff. You don't hunt, you don't fish, you don't ever see yourself in like an, a scenario where you need a tactical device to save your bacon. This might not be for you. However, if you're the type of person that use their knives at least 10 times a day, that can be for an array of things, snapping zip ties, cutting cardboard, cutting up fruit and snacks for your kiddos, all sorts of stuff, okay? And you like to have a high quality blade, you like stuff that's handmade on American soil, then this could be for you. This is a EDC fixed blade knife that could be something that is easily rocked as your everyday carry. A lot of fixed blade knives just don't really suit that scenario. There's a lot of things about them that they're kind of like not really designed for that. This one has an overall length of seven and seven eighths of an inch. So that's almost eight inches. It's an eighth away, <laughs> all right? So it's one eighth away from being eight inches long. It does have a blade length of uh, three and a half inches. Uh, so I think that's all the, like literally all of it is cutting length. Sometimes when they say that you might get a choil or something like that, or where the grind, you know, it stops a little bit before the grind. This actually might be one of those ones that is legit a, a, a long beefy knife when it comes to that type of stuff. It does have a thickness of 0.125 of an inch. It's Cerakoted finished. G10, rippy, really grippy G10 scales on this bad boy. Hard for, hardware is really accessible. I don't know what the hardware is made of. I don't know if it's bronze or copper, or, but it's, it's, it looks nice. It's, you know, colored magna cut blade steel, full tank construction, made in Montana, hence the name of Montana Knife Company. Let's just talk about the everyday performance of this thing. It is a fantastic performer for use in, in your everyday life. If you just need a knife that's gonna get the job done, it's gonna be able to do tasks very easily, and you want it to be a fixed blade, and you're okay with this length, then this thing gets stuff done very, very, like just quickly. It, But it also brings a tactical flavor to a fixed blade knife. That's where this goes from being a tool to something that could be tactical. I hate the word tactical in some instances because some companies just use that as a cliche buzzword. It makes you feel good inside. It's, oh, it has molly, it's tactical. No, this one is actually, because of this finger hole in the back, the way that you can grip this in different scenarios, if you had to go to a fight situation, all humans have built into them a fight or flight inside of them i primarily lean towards fight but there's some times when you know flight makes more sense you know about to get jumped by freaking seven dudes or something like that then flight might make a lot more sense but if you have the mentality where you mostly like to evade if you need to you need to actually get into the action or something like that and then make it to recovery when you get to the action part this knife is going to be used for that war goat where does the name war goat come from it takes its name from the mountain goats that roam the harsh landscapes in montana they call them war goats because it's harsh out there they're it's kind of like they're going to war they fight each other uh these animals are known for their incredible toughness and their ability to thrive in super unforgiving uh, conditions that's why they named this knife that all sorts of conditions whether you're using it as a pry bar which you should not be using it as an everyday knife or you're using it in a fight situation i could easily see this being issued to a service member now just like its namesake this knife does seem to be super reliable 
no matter what you throw at it. There are some, let me talk about some cons real quickly before I start to glaze on this too much. It's a little bit big. It's hard to wear in shorts. It's hard to wear in the pocket because of this finger part here. You need to wear this on your belt. You need to wear this, you know, maybe like on the inside, uh, appendix carry uh, on the inside of your hip. Those are kind of the easiest ways for me to get around that. The Aussie clip, this is not a complaint of the, the, the knife. This is a complaint of Aussie clips. They're incredibly hard to, uh, you know, take apart, but that's why they work so well. Um, Aussie clip, another made in America company. So they, they pair it up with Montana knife company for this one. So that can be a headache. The sheath is not as clicky as some of its brethren. Like it's just, you can tell when it's in the sheath, but it's a, it's a difference. Like other Montana Knife Company knives have a click to them that lets you know you fully put it in the sheath. So I can kind of see where you might want to, you might put this in the sheath and it's not fully in there, but it still doesn't go anywhere. And when it's fully in the sheath, it makes no noise. But I did want to talk about that. That can be a con. And then the price. I think this thing, don't quote me on the price. I'll put the price on the screen and links in the description to check this bad boy out. You know, it's made in America, made in the factory and all the other type of stuff. When you can compare this to other Magna Cut blade steel knives like the Bradford Guardians 2.0 and all that type of stuff, those are near $200. This is not going to be near $200. So stuff to think about, even other tactical knives, something you can get like the Sock P from Benchmade might be a little bit cheaper, but you might not get the same blade steel. So you got to be okay with that when it comes to cons. Now let's talk about the pros. Magna Cup blade steel is known for its edge retention, not just the factory edge that comes from Montana Knife Company, but the working edge. It's going to be very few and far between that you have to sharpen this. This blade shape makes for easy sharpening. I'm glad they didn't go with something like a recurve. You know, and I'm a big fan of stuff such as warnies and stuff like that. But when it's time to sharpen and use this for, uh, you know, those tactical situations, this makes a lot of sense. The G10 is super grippy. It doesn't feel like I'm going to lose uh, grip of this at all. I would say of all the knives I own, the two knives that have the best G10 are my whole Deca with the Dark Earth Contour G10 scales and this Montana Knife Company War Goat. They put a little bit of jipping on the spine of the knife as well. That allows for you to get up on there if you need to do any type of bushcrafting and stuff. I don't do that type of stuff, but if you are into bushcrafting, if you are into that type of stuff, that's what's going to work out well for you to have that little bit of extra for you to get, get up on this bad boy. So the spine of the actual blade itself is not 100% at 90 degrees. So if you want to use this as a camp knife, you may want to caution yourself about that. Meaning if you want to use this to strike a ferro rod, then maybe not so much it does have a finger guard at the bottom to keep your fingers from slipping up on the blade it doesn't have anything at the top i don't care about that but you know in some bush crafting and whittling and folks that use this as a camping knife they want finger guards at the top i don't i don't care about that but that's something to think about so striking a ferro rod you can grind this down a little bit but you're going to sacrifice the cerakote finish if you take a grind to this so just be cautious when thinking about that overall. Other than the cons that I mentioned, would I recommend the Montana Knife Company War Goat? Yes, it has a generational guarantee, meaning I can pass this to my sons. They guarantee the knife, not the purchaser. They do not care if you find the War Goat in a freaking ditch on the side of the road. If it has their branding on it, it is authenticated to be one of their knives, they will warranty the knife. I think that's great. Now, does Montana Knife Company have a few things that, you know, they're getting better at? Yeah, they are. So I am not a big fan of companies that do drops and like emails and you got to like fight to get the knife and all that type of stuff. A lot of that type of stuff happens with like pouches and ranger eyes. And I'm, I don't like that. I like for you to either take pre-orders and just make the make them and produce them as you see fit um, or something like that. They're getting better at they're getting better at keeping knives in stock. So that's a good thing. If they would have kept on that motto of like surprise, more knives, then it would, it, you know, I will frown upon them more. If you are one of those companies that's like surprise, a batch drop has just dropped because people have lives. Like I got five kids, a job, fine ass wife. A lot of times I don't check my email, check Instagram, check social media to know when a batch of something that I've really desired has dropped. I would much rather you take pre-orders or just take my money and just tell me I'll get it in two months versus telling me that, you know, I have to wait to know what it's in stock. I'm glad they're getting better about that. But comment down below. What do you think about the Montana Knife Company War Goat? 
something that you can see yourself getting the price too high the price just right is there an alternative that i should check out i would love to know what your comments down below make sure you hit that like button i do appreciate that i don't ask for a lot but slapping the like button helps spread the word on this share this video with something and even if you don't have a comment about this knife you leave your favorite emoji down below it helps with channel engagement and i would appreciate that as well your first time stopping by hit the subscribe button i would love to have you a part of the battalion if this is not your first time stopping by Thank you once again for watching me run my grape. The war goat is hot. We will speak soon.